Good morning, Debbie Holloway here. Just imagine, just imagine, did you know that every human being, before they actually make a decision, they're actually making it twice. The first is where they're imagining in their mind what they're gonna do, hypothetically. What if I made this move? What if I bought this or sold that? Before they actually do it, we imagine it. So we are imagining in our minds what we want to do. I share this with you because it's from this wonderful book I'm reading called Exactly What to Say. If you haven't gotten this book, it is phenomenal in, in that it helps you with language in speaking with people. It's so wonderful. Um, so I want you to just imagine today for me, do you want to be fixed in your mindset? Or do you want to have a growth mindset in your business? Doesn't man, man, doesn't matter your business. So let's talk about this. Just imagine a fixed mindset, a fixed mindset. We avoid challenges. In fact, we run from challenges because we don't like change. Uh, a fixed mindset gives up when things get tough. I'd rather not do it than force myself to go through it even if the reward on the other end is amazing. A fixed mindset makes excuses. They won't try because they don't want to fail. Um, they don't learn from their mistakes. A fixed mindset stays where they are. They don't have the growth they want. They look around and everything is a complaint or a problem or an excuse. A fixed mindset judges others as either dumb or smart. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that one hit home to me more than anything in a fixed mindset. Anytime we prejudge whether someone is smart or stupid, that, makes, uh, that means we're stupid. It doesn't make sense to me. So just imagine that you have a fixed mindset. How is that helping you? How is it moving you forward? And luckily, you don't have to declare this to anybody. This is just you in your own mind asking yourself, am I fixed in my mindset? Am I complaining that the market's bad? Am I complaining my business is down? Am I complaining I don't like anybody in politics? We all do those things, but is that a fixed mindset? Just imagine. And then I want you to think about this. Just imagine a growth mindset. Maybe you have one. Maybe you just think, wow, what can a growth mindset do for me? Think about this, a growth mindset takes on challenges with maybe a little fear, but not a lot of fear because they see what's possible in the end. A growth mindset tries, even though it's difficult, even though the market's tough, even though sales are down, instead of saying it's terrible, they keep trying. They say, let me think out of the box. What else can I do to generate sales? A growth mindset understands that success takes work. A growth mindset learns from their mistakes. A growth mindset accepts feedback and criticism. No matter how hard it is, they understand that feedback and criticism can and will help them grow. A growth mindset celebrates others' success. Think about that. Be happy. Being happy for others just makes us happier. A growth mindset understands the value of learning and improving. So my point for you today is very simple. Just imagine having a growth mindset. Take a look, play this back. Listen to what I said about a fixed and a growth mindset because we ladies can make the decision where we want to be. I choose to have a growth mindset and I hope you will choose that too. Make it a great day. Thank you for joining me.